All right, welcome back. This is by request. I was asked to take a look at the latest release from the folks at MX16. This one's called Metamorphosis. I believe it's uh, 16.01. Now, I will tell you this. I took a look at this before some time ago, and I think I liked it. If I didn't, I can tell you that I like it now. I've been testing this inside a virtual machine, and it runs terrific, smooth, stable, didn't notice anything unusual. So let's take a look at this real quick. Now the last time somebody told me I missed the um, the MX settings or the MX tools. So I will be taking a look at that a little bit more extensively in this. Not quite a review, but a quick look at MX16. So this is the default desktop here. If you are a complete newbie to Linux or close to a beginner, you must take a look at each link here so you know what the heck is going on. So let me go ahead and close this out for now. The, the default desktop looks nice, a nice little birdie here. Uh, this is using the XFCE desktop environment, completely user friendly for beginners. You can right click, a nice drop down menu. The one thing I do like about this is just go to all applications. And as it implies, these are all your default installed apps, installed apps by default, and there's quite a bit. Okay, so the panel here by default is at the left. Of course, if you don't know, Linux is quite customizable. You can move this left, right, top, and bottom. I'll just leave it to the left for now. There is a clock here at the top. I'll go to this real quick here. Uh, one thing about the panel, if you right click, you can add little uh, items. I call them applets. I guess they call them applets in the Mate desktop, in the, in, uh, yeah, Mate desktop environment. Just go to add new items, and you can add other shortcuts to the panel as you see here. Well, Firefox is installed by default as it is with most Linux distros, at least the ones that I've seen. Of course, there are other web browsers, of course, Chrome, Chromium, Vivaldi, Pale Moon Browser, Cupzilla, and the list goes on and on. I would recommend also you would take a look at the mxlinux.org website for more information. So we have the file manager. I believe this is going to be Thunar, if I'm not mistaken. Again, quite easy to navigate about. Yeah, Thunar. Okay. Some other shortcuts here. I won't go through all of these. Let's go through the applications quickly, and then I'll go to the um, MX tools, something I missed last time. So we'll go to uh, all. Let's see if anything catches my eye. Okay, AMD driver installer, very good. Asunder CD Ripper, good. Clementine, a good music player. Of course, Firefox GW package installer, very good. The GIMP image editor, another good one. Uh, LibreOffice installed by default. Let's see here. Codex installer, okay. Of course, the welcome screen we looked at. NVIDIA driver installer, okay, nice. Pulse audio volume control, very good. The Synaptic package manager, probably the best, one of the best package managers for Linux. UNET button, that's what I use to create bootable uh, USB sticks, VLC, another very good player for both Linux and Windows. An XF burn, another good CD, DV, uh, CD and DVD burning application. So, I wanted to, uh, let's see here, take a look at the tools. This is what I missed last time, so let's see what all the fuss is about. MX Tools, so briefly, Live USB Kernel Updater, Live USB Maker, Remaster, Snapshot, create a live ISO snapshot of your running system. Okay. Boot Repair might come in handy for a beginner. Menu Editor, Usage Manager, eh, things I probably would not use. The Driver Installer might come in handy. Keep in mind that with Linux, video driver installs are a hit and miss. Uh, NVIDIA driver installer may come in handy. The Broadcom manager for troubleshooting network configuration may come in handy. Codex installer definitely come in handy. Uh, default look, select sound, select the default sound card. I only have one as far as I know. 
system sounds configure event and system sounds of course the welcome screen under software we have checked check app gpg missing keys the package installer the simple package installer and the repo manager uh, let's see let's go to system sounds real quick here see what we have XFCE event sounds, feedback sounds, login sounds, and logout sounds. Okay, self-explanatory. Let's see if this uh, let's let's see if this works. Yep. Okay. Well, briefly from what I see here, I can see why some of you guys really like this uh, MX Tools uh, settings here. It's um, some beginners may not quite may not quite understand all this, but I would imagine for beginners, they're probably going to take a look at the driver installer, codex, maybe system sounds. I'm not sure about the rest of this, uh, but yeah, this is definitely a plus for beginners to Linux and really for anybody who enjoys using a Linux based operating system. So my overall thoughts on MX Linux 16 I like it. Lightweight, fast, even running in a virtual machine. I haven't even installed this in a virtual box. I'm just running this off the live demo and I must say it's easy. I like it. So if you are considering trying Linux take a look at the latex at the latest MX 16 or MX Linux 16.01 I will have a link for this below in the show notes well that's all I have for this one thank you so much for watching and listening if you haven't already subscribed and don't forget to support this total OS today technology channel total technology for beginners and beyond